Hello, just as promised, I'm here to show you the game that I created, which, is, which I called Old Maid, the study version. In the lesson on Hiragana and Katakana from last time, if you haven't seen it, you can click on the video that will be somewhere around here. On that lesson, I mentioned that I created a game, a card game, to memorize the two syllabaries of the Japanese language based on Old Maid an American game from the 19th century. In this game, there is one card, typically the Joker, which is considered the old mate, because it is the only one that cannot be paired with another. A person wins when they manage to discard all their cards. The loser is the one who ends up with the Joker in their hand. I became aware of this game when I read a manga called Kamizama no Yutori 2, as the God's Will, the second series. And since it consists on pairing cards, it immediately struck me that it would work very well as a memorization game. The only downside is that it can only be played with a minimum of two players, so you won't be able to try it on your own. But if you can find some friends to play with you, it can be a great way to memorize Iragana and Katakana. The first thing that you need to do is to build the decks. To do this, you will need cardboard or any other material that you can cut into small squares and that isn't translucid. For example, you have this one right here, which I use to do my cards. The Iragana deck will consist of 92 squares and the Katagana deck of only 90. As there are a lot of cards, I recommend getting a bag to store them in, just as, as this Poshita one. And I also recommend you to get a rubber band on, or an air tie or something to secure each deck, just like this, so the cards don't get mixed. You don't want your Iragana cards to get mixed with the Katakana ones. Now that you have the blank cards divided into two piles, one with 90, the other with 92, you will start filling them in. Start with a pile of 92 cards. On each card, you will draw a hiragana, just like this. On the next is corresponding syllable in homaji. The process will be repeated on the stack of 90 cards, each katakana followed by its sound in the Roman alphabet. If you don't mind the game getting long, you could even add the 25 hiragana katakana modified by dakuten and andakuten to each deck. In each case, the decks would have 142 and 140 cards in total, respectively. But I wouldn't recommend playing a game with this number of cards if there are fewer than 4 participants. You will also need 1 or 2 dice, depending on the number of players. If there are fewer players, you will want to play with 2 dice. If there are a lot of players, you use just 1 dice. Before the game starts, the cards must be shuffled and then placed on a flat surface with the blank side facing up. The top card should then be removed from the pile and shown to all participants and after which is set aside. In this case I'm using the Iragana deck and the card removed is the one containing the vowel O, which means that the joker becomes this card, which is the corresponding Iragana. This card uh, is on my hand right now because I'm exemplifying, but in, an, in a real game it will be somewhere around here, somewhere on this deck. But I will put it aside because I will need it later. Decide who among you shall be the first one to start, by whichever method you prefer. Once the person has been chosen, they must roll one or two dice. The number of dice define the pace of the game. One dice will result in a slower game, while with while two dice will speed up the process. My suggestion is to use two dice whenever the number of participants is equal or less than four, especially if your decks are the, are the longer versions of 140 and 142. The person who roll the dice must draw the appropriate number of cards from the deck. I will roll the dice. Imagine that I am the first person. 
in this case it fell on number five as you can see so i will take five cards for myself from this deck the person to their left must do the same and so on until everyone has cards this is what i call a drawing section each drawing section is followed by a trading section the first person who got cards must roll the dice again and they change the specified number of cards with the player on their left. I am the first person, everyone has cards right now, and I'm going to roll the dice again. 3 cards. Each player can choose the cards they want to get from their opponent, but this is done blindly, because you will hold the cards like this, and the other person is also holding the cards like this. If the number uh, determined by the dice is higher, then the number of cards one of the players has. Imagine that the player only has two cards and the dice fell on the number three. Then the number two is the number considered for the exchange. So you only exchange two cards. Whenever a player finds a pair of cards in their possession, no matter at what point in the game, it can be during a drawing section, during an exchange section, it can be whenever, Whenever they have two matching cards, they can discard them. For example, I have these. So I can discard them. If any of the participants are still unfamiliar with Iragana, Katakana, or if they don't know them at all, it is a good idea to have a chart nearby. One only discarded part can ruin the game. In case of doubt, consulting the other participants before discarding is preferable to making a mistake. I thought obviously you should avoid this because you're not supposed to know who has what. Once the exchange section is over, all players have rolled the dice and exchanged cards with the colleague on the left, there is another drawing section and then another exchange section and another drawing section and so on. As the pile of discarded cards grows, there are fewer and fewer cards in circulation, including the old maid, the one that I separated for exemplification purposes, this one. This one is somewhere on the deck, and since the number of discarded cards keeps growing, this card here will start circulating more and more. That's when the exchange rounds become interesting, since no one wants to be left with the this card in their hand. The aim is to make the opponent choose this card without realizing it during the exchange phase. For those who have this card, the aim is to get rid of it as quickly as possible. And so, when all the cards have been discarded, the one who gets left with this one, that they, with, oops, I'm sorry, with this one, the one who gets left with this one, is the loser. Because, remember, you discarded this card at the start of the game. So, this card has no match. And yeah, this is basically the game. I hope that I didn't make it too confusing. I hope my explanation was clear enough. You can make any kind of additional rules to make it more interesting. You can make challenges. This is my game, but I don't even know. Maybe someone invented something like this before but yeah i think it's a fun way to study the two syllabaries have fun keep studying next time i hope that you have already all of these memorized because we're going to talk about kanji we'll talk about kanji but you do not have to decorate a single kanji yet you will see i will just talk about what it is its history all of that just to give you some basics the important thing right now is really hiragana and katakana. I hope that you are liking my videos and I hope to see you in the next one.